Hi everyone, my name is Sebastian Burke and today I'm going to present uh, my work on a particular loss function for learning to rank. This work was done while I was at Google Research. Now in learning to rank, uh, we're typically given a query and a set of documents and the goal is to rank these documents in decreasing order of relevance with respect to the query. Uh, it, the rank list is then presented to a user who will produce the ground truth and then using this information, we can compute a metric to evaluate the quality of the ranked list. Uh, now this problem could be formalized in the supervised learning framework where we have a training set of examples consisting of pairs of queries and documents. Uh, the goal is to learn a scoring function uh, that computes or estimates the relevance of every document to a given query. Once we have these scores, uh, these induce a ranked list, which then could be used to compute a ranking metric such as NDCG or MRR. So that would be the quality of the function that we're learning. However, to learn this function, we also need to optimize the loss function. But because ranking metrics are typically piecewise constant, we use a, a differentiable surrogate loss uh, and uh, optimize that loss to, to learn our scoring function. And one example of a surrogate loss is ListNet. What happens in ListNet is that scores and labels are separately normalized into distributions using the softmax transformation. And now that we're given two distributions, we can compute the distance between them using cross-entropy. Another example is lambda mart, where we don't have a loss function per se, but we design the gradients to consist of terms a product of terms such as these. One is a mis pairwise misclassification error, and the other is the change in metric uh, where we to swap two of the documents in the ranked list but fixed everything else. So some of the difficulties with lambda mart in particular and learning to rank loss functions in general include uh, the fact that there is no clear link between the objective that we're trying to optimize and the ranking metric that we would like to optimize. In the case of Lambda Mart, it is also challenging to uh, optimize uh, the, the ranking objective jointly with other objectives of interest in a multi-objective optimization problem. Uh, the Lambda Mart loss itself is quite costly to compute, and it is tied to the hypothesis space of gradient boosted regression trees. And so the question is, can we find a loss function that has better theoretical and empirical properties? So it turns out that if we looked at the list net loss, but instead of normalizing labels using softmax, if we adopted this particular normalization uh, function, then it can be shown that the resulting loss function is actually a convex upper bound on NDCG if the relevance labels are binary. In this work, we extend that framework to include the more general setup uh, where we have graded relevance. And it turns out if labels are normalized using this function, which utilizes a term that uh, resembles the gain function in NDCG, uh, then the resulting loss function is actually a bound on NDCG in, in, in this more general setup. As a foreproof and analysis, uh, you can refer to the paper. By comparing this modified cross entropy loss with lambda mart, we can also show that one, uh, the cross entropy loss is cheaper to compute, and further, that it's a simple function, implying that it is not as susceptible as lambda mart to noise in, in the input. So, we're going to study this in our experiments. In our experiments, in order to enable a fair comparison between the, the various methods, we're going to fix the hypothesis space to gradient boosted regression trees. We will use the same optimization procedure, uh, and in fact, the implementation will be in the same framework in like GBM, uh, where we have a state of the art implementation of Lambda Mart that enables us to, to evaluate these methods uh, only in terms of the impact of the loss function itself on ranking quality. We run experiments on learning to rank benchmark datasets, Web30K, and Yahoo, 
and we evaluate uh, these methods in terms of quality, as measured by NCG, uh, as well as robustness to noise. That's another property that we're interested in. So just a short note on experiments and how we um, measure statistical significance. Given a full data set, we split that randomly into training, validation, and test populations. And then we sample with replacement to form training, validation, and test set in each round. We train models on the training and validation sets and evaluate on the test set. And we can repeat this procedure 100 times. In order to examine quality, we're going to measure NDCG at rank cutoffs 5 and 10 uh, for each of the methods on both data sets. We have ListNet, which is implemented with the GBERTs here. We have Lambda Mart and the modified cross entropy loss with GBRTs. One thing that stands out is that the slight modification to the loss function, uh, which resulted in this modified cross entropy loss, uh, actually made a significant difference in terms of model quality. It shows that having a theoretically sound link between the loss function and the uh, metric itself plays an important role in, in the optimization procedure. Uh, furthermore, we can also compare cross entropy with lambda mart. And uh, while the differences are significant, uh, the effect size is fairly small. But perhaps what's more interesting is a comparison of the robustness of lambda mart versus the modified cross entropy loss. So we're going to introduce noise to our data sets in various ways and measure the effect it has on the quality of the resulting model. Um, in, this, in the first scenario, we're going to select at random um, X percent of documents for every query and perturb the, their labels. So we will set their labels to something uh, randomly drawn from zero to four. Um, so, for example, at the 20% mark for every query, we change the labels of 20% of the documents in, in that query set. And so as we increase this amount of noise, we're going to end up with more and more noisy labels in our training set. The dashed line here is the NDCG at 5 of the Lambda Mart model on the test set, and the dotted line is that of the cross entropy loss. And the solid line uh, just shows the difference in absolute terms in terms of NDCG at five between the two models. So what we observe is that as we add more noise to the data set, that this gap between the two models increases dramatically, showing that the cross entropy loss is actually quite robust comparatively to, to this kind of noise. So in the second scenario, we simulate a user and uh, their interaction with ranked lists using the cascade click model. So in this model, uh, if the click probability of the non-relevant document is X percent, that means that the user uh, will click a non-relevant document X percent of the time. We can observe again that the gap uh, between cross entropy and lambda mart increases as we add more noise to the data set, and this trend generally holds up across both data sets. In a final scenario, we introduce noise by adding negative examples to a query's document set. Uh, we sample documents from other queries and add those as negative examples. It can be again observed that as we increase the level of noise, the gap between Lambda Mart and cross entropy increases dramatically, while the drop in performance of the cross entropy model is significant, it is not as dramatic as that of Lambda Mart. So what we've shown today, and there's a lot more detail and discussion in the paper, is that we have a loss function that is a bound on NDCG, and so it's theoretically sound. We have a closed form loss here, which enables us to implement uh, learning to rank algorithm with other hypothesis spaces, add regularization, and uh, incorporate that into a multi-objective optimization setup. It is cheap to compute. And finally, and perhaps more interestingly, it is robust to noise and click data sets as well as in, in, in labels in general. And with that, 
Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching my presentation. The code uh, for the loss function is available now in LightGBM's official GitHub repository. You may also find the code to rerun experiments from this study at this link.